Hello and welcome back to the Wee Lorda channel. Today I'm going to be making a delicious orange chocolate brownie and I'm going to be using Mackey's orange chocolate bar and their traditional ice cream to top it off and I'll also be drizzling it off with some chocolate orange sauce. Um, and some sprinkles and glitter and things and this is just the perfect Christmassy pudding to have around Christmas time. This video is made in collaboration with Mackies of Scotland who are a family run business in the northeast of Scotland and they are really well known for their real dairy ice cream and they have a range of ice cream but did you also know they actually um, do chocolate bars and crisps as well and they have some really nice flavours of chocolate and crisps and they also have on their farm a chocolate factory which is made from an old converted tractor shed so that's a really interesting fact. <laughs> so I'm going to be using Mackey's um, new orange chocolate bar in this recipe and it just creates such a delicious brownie it's so so good and I'll be topping it off with their traditional ice cream. You can also make this pudding ahead of time as well, so you can make it a couple of days ahead of Christmas Day. I know that's what I'm going to be doing um, because the kids love this pudding. It just makes such a great alternative to the traditional um, Christmas puddings that are filled with dried fruit. My kids are not particularly keen on those and they would much prefer something like this. So I'm going to be making this for them on Christmas Day as well. So Mackey's are one of our favourite Scottish brands and we literally grew up eating so much Mackey's ice cream <laughs> um, and now we have um, a couple of tubs always in the freezer for our own kids as well. So we love to make our frozen desserts in the summer months and we really enjoy it with um, warm puddings in the winter months like apple pie and fruit tart and of course um, chocolate brownies if you're making <laughs> chocolate brownies as well, it's really really good. And they also have a really nice ice cream parlour in Aberdeen and we love to go in there if we're in town with the kids and give them a treat. It's just a really fun, family friendly place to go and I'll pop some details in the description box um, below of where you can find out more about that. And I'll also leave some links to um, their website where you can find out more about their products as well. But I do know that you can get these Maggie's products in Asda, um, Sainsbury's and the co-op as well. But if you can't find them, then pop over to their website and I'm sure they'll be able to help you source products, the products for this recipe. So as always, this recipe is over on my website. You can pop over and grab a copy of the recipe there. It's angiemillen.com and you can print it out as well if, it, if you find that easier to go along with the video. So, so let's get started on our Christmassy orange chocolate brownie recipe. So for this orange chocolate brownie, you're going to need 300 grams of Maggie's orange chocolate, 200 grams of unsalted butter, four eggs, 150 grams of light muscovado sugar, 125 grams of self-raising flour, plus one tablespoon for the topping as well, 125 grams of cream cheese, one tablespoon of caster sugar, and about two to four tablespoons of marmalade. And for the brownie topping, you're going to need Mackey's traditional ice cream, Christmassy sprinkles, edible glitter sprinkle or spray, one orange sliced up, caster sugar, and for the chocolate sauce, you'll need 100 grams of Mackey's orange chocolate and double cream. And that's about four to five tablespoons of double cream. And this recipe makes about six large chocolate brownies. So we're going to start this recipe by setting our oven to 180. Now this is a fan oven as well, so bear that in mind. And we're going to use a butter wrapper to grease our brownie tin. Now you can add on a little bit extra butter in here as well, just to get it really nice and greasy so that the grease proof paper comes out really well. So we're just going to place our paper in now and if you just push it right into the sides and you can trim off any excess paper that you have sticking out as well. So just smooth that down. So we're just going to break up all of our orange chocolate and pop it into our bowl here. We're going to add that into another large bowl and then we're going to add in our butter as well into this bowl. And now we're going to place this bowl over a pan of, of simmering water. Now please be very careful at this stage, it is quite hot with the hot water um, and it's a bit of a balancing act if your pan is a little bit smaller than the bowl. So please just be very careful. So we're just going to stir the butter and the chocolate very gently in the bowl and what we're trying to do is just melt and combine them both together really well. 
So just make sure you don't um, heat the chocolate up too much. We just want it melted and no more and the butter melted as well. So we're going to pour that into another bowl now and we're just going to leave that to the side to cool slightly before adding it into our brownie mix. So just make sure you scrape out your bowl as well and just get the leftover pieces of chocolate. So we're going to add our light muscovado sugar into our bowl now and we're going to add in three of our eggs. We are keeping one of our eggs for the brownie topping before it goes in the oven which I will show you in a minute. So we're going to whisk this up. Now we want to get this really frothy and almost like a light mousse consistency. Um, so we really want to whisk those eggs up quite well. And now that our chocolate's cooled, we're going to add this into our egg and sugar mixture. And we're just going to give that a light whisk through. Just to blend it and no more. So we're now going to add in our flour and we're just going to give that another light light um, whisk through and we really don't want to blend this too much, we just want to um, blend it and no more. So just make sure you're not over mixing it at this stage. And that's our brownie mix ready to go into our tray. So we're going to take our greased tray back now and we're just going to pour all of our brownie mix in. And just make sure you scrape it all out of the bowl as well and you can use your wooden spoon to make sure that it's into the corners and just so it's, it's even throughout the whole tray. So we're going to add our cream cheese into our little dish here and we're going to add in our remaining egg. So what I want to do is just break the egg up a little bit and just give it a light whisk around in this tray or you can use a bowl if you're using a bowl. And now we're going to add in our one tablespoon of flour and our one tablespoon of caster sugar. And we're just going to whisk that up until it is completely blended. So it does take a minute or so, um, but a small handheld whisk is fine. And you should end up with something like this. You really just want to keep whisking so that you get rid of any lumps in the um, flour. So we're now going to do our marmalade. We're just adding in about two to four tablespoons into this jug here. And we're just breaking it up a little bit so that it's ready to put on top of the brownie. Now this marmalade actually contains shreds, which, which I feel works really well in this recipe. So if you spoon on your cream cheese mix, you need about six tablespoons worth. Um, Please don't feel that you have to use all of the mix in the tray, you really don't. Just use as much as you feel is necessary, but about six tablespoons is enough. And we're just going to dot some marmalade in each one. And this just gives the brownie a really good texture in taste and, in, and also in colour as well. So I'm using my super cute snowman pin here and I'm just blending through the cream cheese and marmalade into the brownie. And we really just want to blend it through on the surface. We don't really want it going through the entire brownie, so we're trying to stick to surface blending if we can. <laughs> and I just love the patterns that, that you get from doing this, it's so, so pretty. And we just want to pop our brownies in the oven now for 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown on top and ready on the inside. 
and we're just spreading a little extra marmalade on the top here so this is just to this is just some marmalade that I had left over and I'm just really popping it on to um, help the glitter and sprinkles stick to the brownie and it just adds a really nice glaze as well and especially with the orange shred in the marmalade it just works really well with this recipe so we have a really nice color and texture here and it's just so so pretty and it's really really delicious all these flavors together so you want to leave your brownie to cool for at least 10 minutes in the pan and then you want to take it out and leave it to cool completely before cutting it up so we're just cutting it up now now you do get about six large brownie slices from this recipe and you can see it is just super ooey gooey and it's crispy on the top and it's really really nice and um, you can cut off some of the chunkier edges if you have edges that have puffed up but i think they add texture to the brownie i did cut off one rather large edge um here and i'm just adding on some glittery sprinkles as well to the top of this brownie just to make it all shiny and sparkly and it just looks really Christmassy, it's just lovely. So we're slicing up our orange now into quite thin slices and we're just going to bake these for 25 minutes in the oven with a little bit of caster sugar sprinkled over the top. But just keep an eye because they do burn really easily, these orange slices, um, and you can turn them halfway as well if you want to. They're not particularly edible um, once they're baked, they're more just for decoration, but you can chew on them if you like. <laughs> you could also cut your orange slices up into smaller pieces. I do have a half here as well. Um, it's entirely up to you. So we're just going to turn them around so they can get all the sugar on them and then we're going to pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. So now we're going to melt our chocolate for the top of the brownie. So we popped all our chocolate into our bowl again and we're basically doing the same method for melting. You can actually use a microwave for melting chocolate um, as well. And we've just placed our cooled brownie onto our dish here and our chocolate has melted really, really well. So what we're going to do now is just add in our double cream. Now I haven't measured here, it really is about two to four tablespoons. You will be able to tell, just add a little at a time and all you're wanting to do is just thin out your melted chocolate. So I'm just using some of my orange slices to decorate my plate here and they are just so, so pretty and Christmassy and I just think the colours work really well at this time of year, especially with this brownie. And of course I am using some of my Christmassy glitter sprinkle and a glitter spray also works really well in this recipe if you can't get your hands on glitter sprinkle and we're topping off our brownie with some of this lovely traditional ice cream from Mackey's And these brownies can be served up warm or cold, it's entirely up to you. And I've just topped off my ice cream with some of my warm chocolate sauce, which is just helping the ice cream to melt all over the brownie and it looks so, so delicious. And we've popped one of our orange slices on top. And of course we are going to add some of that Christmassy glitter as well. And you can put your glitter all over your plate as well. And I've also added in some Christmassy sprinkles. You get all sorts of Christmassy sprinkles in the shops at this time of year. And um, so just add in whatever you can find. I've got some little gold stars here and some chocolate balls and things. And they're just so, so cute. And they go really well with this recipe. So 
So I also went on to make a second and a third and a fourth chocolate brownie and the kids just absolutely love these. It's such a delicious recipe alternative to the fruity puddings that are available at Christmas time and it just works so so well. And they're really easy to prepare because you can make the brownie ahead and store it in the fridge and then just warm it up on the day, serve it with ice cream and make the chocolate sauce up really quickly in the pan. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed making your orange chocolate Christmas brownie and I'm sure you'll agree it goes really really well with Maggie's traditional ice cream. It's so so good, it's just a perfect pudding for um, Christmas day, especially for those who are looking for an alternative to the fruity puddings um, that are pulled out at Christmas time. So you can find out where to purchase Maggie's ice cream and their products in the link below. But as I mentioned before, you can get it in Asda, Sainsbury's or Co-op. And if you can't find it, I'm sure if you message them, they'll be able to help you as well. So they have a whole range of ice creams and um, chocolate bar flavours and they have lots of crisp flavours as well. If you did a photo of your orange chocolate brownie as well, please feel free to tag me on Instagram and you can tag Maggie's as well. And they actually have a chocolate bar selection box couple of those to give away so they're like little mini bars and they're really cute and they're really delicious as well um, and they've got a few different flavours in the pack so if you tag us in there you might be in with a chance of winning one of those selection boxes so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope to see you all again soon lots of love take care bye bye